What's going on guys? This is Damien from the Lookout and I'm here with Oceania Regionals full breakdown. Yeah, Oceania Regionals just took place yesterday. We were the official casters for the event. It was awesome. And now I have one of those more in-depth breakdowns that you, really got, that you guys really love. But before we begin this video, huge shout out to our patrons. Bixen, Miguel, Derek, Bryce, Jakub, Frank, Adnan, Nave, and Ryan are $2 and up patrons. Thank you guys so much for buying us coffee, for keeping this machine going. It's highly appreciated and if anyone else wants to support us this way, you don't need to, but it's highly appreciated. Link to our Patreon is in the description below. Before I jump into the breakdown, I need to tell you that registrations for Xenoverse have begun and they will close on the 25th. So if you want to participate, go register now. Link is in the description below. Now, roll the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with the breakdown, or in this case, general info. So this was an online event organized by TAC Games. Huge shout out to Taka Games, they had a great turnout, super smooth tournament, it went amazing. So uh, it was a best of one pre-side, 6 rounds, 80 players in total. We were once again the official casters for the event. You can find the entire live stream on our channel, go to the live panel. YouTube really really tries to bury live streams, so just go to the live panel and there you can find it. Huge congrats to everyone who participated from the TO, judges, the entire event staff, players. Huge congrats to everyone, it was an awesome event. Now let's dive into the top 16. Okay guys, here is the top 16 from the Oceania regional event. Look at this, like... Uh, there are some usual suspects. As you can see, highest concentration of Gogetas, because the deck should be banned already. And the uh, Majin Vegetas. Then we have Gamma as the usual suspect. We have Golden Frieza, Red Sin, and then there is, you know, some diversity here. So first off, congratulations to all of the players. But the biggest congratulations goes to first place John. Once again winning the regionals back to back with Golden Frieza. Congrats, John. Then we have Majin Vegeta. On second place, we have Blue Green Soul Striker. On third place, we have this deck profile on the channel. I believe that it's coming after this video because I still haven't done the schedule. But you will see this is one of the craziest builds that I've ever seen. Then, fourth place, Bulma. Bulma at fourth place. Wow, you don't usually see Bulma. That's super cool. Fifth place is Gamma. Sixth place, Majin Vegeta. Seventh place, Sin. And then eighth place, Expert Android 21. The super cancerous one that should be banned. Expert Android 21 on eighth place. The stronger Android 21, basically. The one that just loops super combos infinitely uh, then ninth place the only black deck at the entire tournament not the entire tournament at the entire top 16 ss4 goku Zeno. this is cool because usually we just see like either cumber or kai maybe hatch but not so much of ss4 goku Zeno. and now we see ss4 goku Zeno here that's very cool to see congratulations 10th place, another Gamma, 11th place, Majin Vegeta, and then 12th place, Gogeta BR BT19. This is Ben's Gogeta BR. Ben topped with this Gogeta the last time, and now he topped with it again. If you're interested in seeing how the deck plays, we actually have a footage. Go to the live panel on our channel, you will find the live stream there. I believe this was game 4 with uh, with Gogeta BR. If you want to check out the deck, we have it. Then, 12, 13th place, Android 21 BT20. The weaker Android 21. 
Um, there was a lot of blue at this event, so I would have expected it to do a bit better. But uh, 13th place, congratulations. When I say I thought it's going to get a bit better, I was thinking there's going to be more of them in the top 16. But still, one of them managed to get into top 16. That's awesome. Huge congrats to the pilot. And then 14th, 15th and 16th place, Gogeta GT. Because, yeah, Gogeta GT. But taking three places in a row. So, uh, yeah, uh, Majin, Majin Vegeta and Gogeta GT both had the highest representation in the top 16. It is cool to see Frieza winning again, despite Majin Vegeta being this prominent, because Frieza really fell off after Majin Vegeta started taking events. Soul Striker is one of the craziest builds that I have seen. Bulma is super cool. Like, I like this. I like this and I like the idea that uh, Ben once again made it to the top 16 with Gogeta BR BT19. That was a huge surprise to everyone. The first time it happened, it's a massive surprise. Now, the second time that it happened, Ben is an awesome player. Ben is really an awesome player. It's more a player, like, it's more of the player is awesome than uh, the deck being super strong, you know. It's uh, it's not an in, insane deck by any by any standards of measurements. But still, they, this is crazy. So, yeah, guys, these are the top 16 leaders. Let's check out all of the leaders. Here are all of the leaders from the event. So, first thing that we can see here is that Majin Vegeta is in an extremely high representation, 11 decks, then 8 Gogetas, because of course Gogeta, Gogeta needs to die already, uh, 4 Gammas, 4 Golden Freezas. We don't usually see a lot of Golden Freezas anymore, so it's cool to see Golden Frieza. Then we have a bunch of free copies decks. And guys, there's a whole bunch of diversity among these. So Expert 21, another deck that should die. Uh, green Cooler, so free copies of Green Cooler. So uh, that's cool to see. That's definitely cool to see. Green in a bit higher numbers this time around. Free Cumbers, free Cells. Free Trunks Reboots, and then we have free Beerus Reboots. You don't usually see Beerus anymore, mostly because of how he can lose horribly to Android 21. But free copies of Beerus, that's cool. And only free copies of Sin. So the stronger red deck is at only three copies, uh, but still one of them made it into the top 16. Uh, the other ones, well, you know... There is there's a good amount of attempts with green here, though the majority of the decks, as you can see, are either red or blue. Uh, now we have some leaders with only two decks. Soul Striker, one of them made it to the third place at the event. Miljanemba, Gohan Superhero, that is the BT19 one. SS4 Goku Zeno, also made it into the top 16. Bulma also made it into the top 16 and android 21 bt20 also there is one in the top 16 too and then we have the rest gogeta br bt19 in the top 16 broly swap icarus ss4 vegeta you don't usually see ss4 vegeta anymore universe 7 goku that is the bt15 one I believe that's, uh, that's the, you know, U7 deck. Supreme Kai, Android 18, BT20, that is the Invoker deck. Then Android 17, BT20. Uh, no, Android 18, BT20, that is, you know, the Excel Dance. Android 17, BT20 is the Invoker one. Yellow Baby, Android 18, Mill. Yeah, Android 18, Mill. Starter deck Broly. Starter deck Broly, guys. Trunks Jita, Reboot Gotenks, Gogeta Exodia, SS4 Goku GT, the green one, Cooler Mill, Dark Broly. Dark Broly. Hatch, Pen Reboot, and finally BT14 Red Universe 7 Gohan. 
So yeah, a lot of diversity at this event. Although we have like the highest numbers of the usual suspects, there's a lot of crazy decks here. Let's finally, let's check out the cooler diversity for this event. Finally, we have the cooler diversity. So we are looking at all leaders from a single color and adding them together. So four Gogetas count as four Gogetas. Looking at this spread, we can see that there were 24 blue decks in total, 19 red, 18 yellow, 10 green, and 9 black decks. So, yeah, there, there is like, uh, there's the standard representation of blue and red being the highest represented ones. This time around, blue was the highest represented one. It's usually red, but the difference isn't that big. It's only five decks. And then yellow is pretty close by, as usual. So it's just red and blue changing places on this event. Uh, what's cool to see is 10 green decks in total. Only one making it to the top 16, but still 10 green decks. Uh, <laughs> there is more green than black this time around. Black is the loser this time. At only nine decks. It's not that huge of a difference. I mean, uh, green had 10 decks, one made it to the top 16. The same pilot as the last time. So for those of you who's, who are going to say, oh, green is good now, no, no, it's not. So this is the same person who plays the deck expertly well. And uh, black had nine and only one of them got into the top 16. But otherwise, yeah, once again, we're seeing blue and red as the highest represented colors. Yeah, that's basically the breakdown. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this breakdown? This is one of the last BT20 events that we will have. We only have NA next weekend. We have Asia next weekend. And then on, on the Friday after that, we're having the ban list. And then on the 9th, we have the newest ban list enforced. Ninth should be pre-release, meaning ban list should be enforced then. So we are seeing the final days of BT20 meta. And I, I love doing Oceania. Just look at this. There, there are so many cool decks here. There's so many cool decks here. Guys, we'll probably have deck lists by the end of the week because I want to give their content creators time and players to do their own deck profiles before we show all of the deck lists. But uh, yeah... This is the breakdown. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And guys, please share the video. Hit those like and subscribe buttons. We are on our way to 3000 subs. We're almost halfway there. We won't be able to make it by the end of the BT21 spoiler season. But we might get there pretty soon. Who knows? We can only do that with your help. So yeah. Guys, this has been Damien from The Lookout, and I'll see all of you in the next video.